I'm Alex Gigitano, Roll Call's Heard on the Hill reporter. A highlight of this week was when actor Ashton Kutcher came to Capitol Hill to testify before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on a panel to prevent human trafficking. Kutcher is the co-founder of an organization called THORN, which creates technology to help combat trafficking. Before his testimony, senators joked around with him and everyone in the room was excited for him to be there. I want to thank Elisa and Ashton. Ashton, you we're better looking in the movies than anyway. De, de. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I want to... <laughs> we welcome him today. He, by the way, flew all night. He's working right now uh, on a film, and so he caught a red eye in after having dinner with his wife. Very, very smart man on Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals hosted their annual Pause for Love event. The event was packed with staffers and dozens of dogs and a couple cats were around the room waiting to be adopted. The Congressional Animal Protection Caucus co-chairman Vern Buchanan and Earl Blumenauer went to the event, as well as Martha McSally of Arizona, who was spotted playing on the floor with a couple of Weimaraners, and former Senators Bob and Elizabeth Dole, who are longtime supporters of animals. A Day Without Immigrants was on Thursday, which involved immigrants around the country going on strike in demonstration against Donald Trump's immigration policy. The Capitol complex was impacted by it when the Dirksen cafeteria had several employees call in sick, so as a result, people had to move over to be cashiers there, and the Senate refectory was closed all day. Looking ahead to next week, it's a recess week in both the Senate and the House. I chatted with new Louisiana Senator John Kennedy, who told me he's been so busy he hasn't gotten a chance to explore D.C. yet. I'm Alex Cantitano, and that's what I heard on The Hill this week.